Hey everybody, it's Today's Rocks 1992, or as you know me as Richie from Fire Tutorials channel. Today we're going to be doing um, the fourth part of the Stick series. Um, sorry it took so long, I had to reform my computer, do some other stuff, get Windows 7 and everything. This is just my little theme here for Mac, it's Rocket Dock with the background of my Windows start bars up here. Anyways, so we're going to start by opening Sticks, and I have my characters I used for the last time, the Ninja and Link. Uh, I know some people were questioning, can I put up my sprites I use? I don't actually use sprites, I use, um, download update, remind me later, I'll get that later. I use, uh, homemade, uh, they're not really sprites, just like, homemade ones I made. I don't know what sort of was he wanted. Uh, what sort of done? Same thing. Um, so I'll be putting these up somewhere, I'll put a link in the description. So let's just get our guys out here where we need them. Bye bye. Delete. Bring this guy over here. So let's just get. Where is he? Think. Oh, I should just make this guy. We also made a ninja. Um. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add uh, our ninja. Uh, he doesn't have the eyes. He's not the one with the eyes. Uh, we need a ground. Just add all your characters in the way you want them to be. Make my ground detail out here. That didn't work. There we go, ground detail. I'm just going to put a link on the ground. Remember, you can always arrange them like I showed you. Arrange, send it back. It's always going to be in the farthest path. Bring your sword down here. Bring your ninja down here. Alright, so now you got your guys. Now basically animation is pretty simple. Um, move them, click a flame, move them, click a frame. It's, you know, you gotta move them in small amounts and increments, so it'll look all choppy. So now, here we go. Say we start like, uh, put his arm down here. He's all like, on guard, you know? And this guy's all like, Kujo! you know? I like to make noises when I do this stuff, I don't know why. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get these guys in their poses. Now to get to the next frame, we need to click next frame. Or we can click enter. And there you go, you got a new frame. Now, watch what happens when I move him. There's like an outline of his old arm. That's called onion skinning. We went over that last time, I believe. Um, it's been a while. So we're just going to move everything down. We're going to make him stab his sword into the ground. Now you're wondering how can you do that if the sword's going to stick out of the ground. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. There's uh, another technique here. So I'm just going to go enter. And then we can flip his sword down. That's probably too far to move. Just do that really fast. Another thing you do is you hold it and drag, and as you drag, you can enter. So create frames as you're dragging. I'm not letting go of the mouse button, I'm just clicking enter. Now, here's where we want a sword to go into the ground. The next, uh, actually, I actually probably should have done that a while ago. So let's go back up to here. Right here, and we want a sword to go into the ground right here. So let's just delete this frame. Right click, delete. So now we got this one and we got this one. So let's go to this one. We want the sword to be in the ground. We're going to click on our line tool. We're going to draw a line here, right about where we want it to be in the ground, right about where his feet are. Line down. And draw a line. Oh, come on. I don't like my new computer the mouse is a little sensitive. Oh, there's my cat. There's a meowing here in the background. So now we're just going to go to the white mouse tool. Remember I told you that's the one that lets you um, select each individual line. Select this one, do hidden. 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 Then go to your polygon fill tool. And just click here. Oh my god. Click here. Here, click there, then click here. And you want to fill that with white, because that's our background right now. So we're going to fill with white. Now go back, because I just realized I did something wrong. I'm going to go back to these right here. Shift select. Make them static, so that they can't be moved. So now if you were to look, Um, 
real. Now, if you look, it looks like a sword kind of goes into the ground. Watch. If you watch this, and it goes, shing. It's in the ground now. It moved rotational, but it went into the ground. So now we're going to leave that there. Next frame. We're just going to put his arm down. I move the by arm. Okay, I'm just going to keep hitting that direction. I don't to go back and forth. Kind of like he's forfeiting the match. Like, Link would never do that, but, you know. Well, I'm not a fan of Zelda and all that crap. Did I play it? Alright. I'm not a fan of Zelda. I play it, but, you know. I don't think he forfeited anything ever. Kind of a tough guy. He doesn't even talk. Alright, so let's just, um. Let's preview that. There you go. He drops into the ground, so. We'll play it again. There it goes. It's in the ground. You can't see the end. That's a nice little animation. You know, it's a simple little thing using your two characters. Now, I will be posting them on something. I'll probably use, um. I mean, you give me a preference here. I could change it later and edit it. But you can give me a preference as to where you want me to post it. Maybe on a, a mega upload. I think I could do. I don't have an account though. Uh, I wonder if I can do it somewhere else. I don't know. I'll try to figure it out. So I'll just get these um on there. I have a couple of them. I'll put on there probably. I'll probably put the um, katana, link sword, link. You know. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Uh, see you guys later. This is Mentally Rocks. Uh, sadly, it's not um. Not doing those four fine tutorials, but let's probably end up on his channel. Uh, sadly, I can't get a hold of him right now. He's off doing something, so whatever. I'll see you guys later.